the Honourable Member for Calgary Fish Creek. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in February of 2012, the Health Quality Council re released a report on emergency department overcrowding. It said clearly, reduce hospital occupancy rates to below 85 percent, or you're putting patients at risk. Back then, the government accepted this recommendation and they plunged, pledged action. Yet hospitals across this province today routinely run at 110 percent capacity. Emergency departments are jammed and surgeries are being cancelled. To the Minister of Health, why is patient safety still being at risk two and a half years after Albertans were promised action? The Honourable Minister of Health. Mr. Speaker, um, recently uh, the Government of Alberta issued um, applications for new uh, long-term care facilities which allowed us to look at how we're um, using our acute care beds in hospitals. We're moving people from there into long-term care beds. This will allow us to open up, open up facilities for those individuals that are dealing in um, the concerns of emergency uh, facilities. Those emergency departments will then have 20 percent set aside so that people can move into the departments in a way that they'll be properly taken care of. Thank you. For a supplemental, Honourable Member. No, Minister. Well, Minister, even the CEO of Alberta Health Services doubts that your plan will work, given that the day after your announcement, she said, and I'm going to quote, Truly, I don't think we'll ever get to the 85% occupancy rate. But if we can smooth it out where we have 98% occupancy and then there's an occasional blip where we have too many patients, well, that would be a better. Minister, are jammed hospitals and blips in the system really the best Albertans can hope for from an $18 billion health care system? Mr. Speaker, I'm not sure that was an accurate quote of what the head of Alberta Health Services said. She's always indicated that 95 per cent would be a, a proper number to search for within our system. Thank you. And supplemental. I'll, uh, I'll be sure to send that quote to the Minister. Speaker, thank you. Minister, given that two-and-a-half-year-old Health Quality Council report spells out the solutions for you, reduce occupancy rates by accurately estimating the number of acute and long-term care beds required now and over the next decade. Has this estimate been done, Minister, and will you table it so Albertans know what's happening? Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, we're in the process of evaluating the long-term implications of the need for acute care beds. We've recently set up a program where we've been able to move 750 people out of acute care into long-term care beds, and that's the the start of that process will continue as we move down the process in order to create more, more acute care beds as a result of the development of long-term care facilities.